I put my Mini 3 Pro through a few firmware update and I saw on the YouTube CE version of the RC controller has some range issue. So today I wanted to do a range test to see how far I can fly my drone with the RC controller, the CE version of the RC controller, until I lose connection with the drone and the controller. So that would basically give me a maximum range I can fly this drone. So I will also share with you some uh, details on how to do some pre-flight setting before you send your drone so far so that you still have the ability to get the drone back. So uh, for this open countryside range test I got very early in the morning and during this range test I will also keep a uh, consistent height. However, once the signal start to drop I will increase the height in order to maintain uh, good signal strength with the drone and the controller. So uh, let's get the drone up in the air and start doing this uh, range test. Give it one two, Papa, runway two seven left, clear to take off. Surface wind is two six zero degrees two one knot. Clear take off two seven left, give it one two, Papa. Two seven nine six behind the departing company eight three two one and line up two seven left behind. Behind the departing company three two one ahead, line up two seven left behind. But So, um, as you can see here, I realized that I was actually flying with the wind as I started to do my range test. So this means when I'm returning back home, meaning the point I uh, took off with my drone, I would be flying against the wind. This means the drone has to work harder and draw more on the battery. So uh, when returning uh, back to its uh, takeoff point. So I wanted to have enough battery left um, so that I can safely return the drone back home and also land it uh, safely. So one thing about this drone is uh, as the battery goes down to zero and if you are still uh, keeping the drone in the air, uh, the drone will just drop. It will just stop and it will just drop. So even before the battery goes down to zero, the drone will constantly try to land itself. So, um, and it could be wherever, if you're actually on top of the air water, it will just land itself on the water. So, um, make sure you have um, enough batteries. So, keep an eye on the uh, battery level and also plan your flight accordingly and make good decisions before flying. Like, you know, um, my bad decision was I was actually flying with the wind. So, I changed course and I started flying against the wind to begin with. So uh, make sure you keep uh, note of the wind speed, uh, the direction of the wind flow, and always be aware of your airspace before takeoff. So I checked on the area if I'm actually um, clear to fly, there is no NOTAM or anything. So check your airspace and uh, then if you're okay to fly, fly over there. So as you can see, we are actually flying at the moment around uh, 32 meters high and uh, we are gaining our distance around 300 meters away and we still have a uh, very good um, signal as you can see full bar um, so uh, I would say that we will just carry on pushing this drone as far as we can uh, for now oh, oops uh, there is a bit of signal drop but you will see as we go through this drone and uh, see how far we can go and we'll just carry on with this range test These are very nice crisp pictures I get from this uh, drone camera. I mean, uh, this is just uh, directly taken from the camera. I haven't actually done anything um, special with this image. All I did is just a bit of contrast adjustment because Cine D profile is slightly flat. So I just did a bit of contrast adjustment, but it's giving really amazing picture quality. I have been really happy with the drone's uh, uh, captured images. Um, so. Um, let me know also in the comment section what you think about the picture quality, what you think about the uh, aerial shot of this uh, countryside. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, 
as you can see I'm actually dropping signal level because it's a big hill and uh, I'm also increasing the height of the drone or the altitude of the drone to gain a couple of bars left uh, but as you can see that's the maximum height I'm allowed to fly um, in UK so um, I still don't have full bars of signal but I still have enough uh, to push this drone um, as far as I can so I'll carry on going really a beautiful early sunrise and you can see those distant low-lying mist on the countryside hills very nice So look at this guy, we are actually um, over a mile away, around um, 1,900 meters, and we started to get this weak signal adjust antenna message. So this means that you know you need to adjust your RC controller and you'll soon start to drop your uh, video connection, but you will still see your you know um, distance is going to increase. Even though your video connection is lost, you can still control the drone. You can see now I actually lost the whole video connection, but my distance is still increasing, meaning I can see um, what sort of telemetry I'm actually getting from the drone, but I have no signal, meaning no video. So video got cut off, but I still have control over the drone. That's the reason drone hasn't initiated return to home sequence yet, but now it has. So it's basically giving itself a signal saying that return to home, by itself because it's about to lose uh, connection with the RC controller. Right, I just lost connection with the RC controller. No more signals and the drone is now doing all by itself. It's just gone into an autopilot mode so it's just flying itself. The maximum distance is 2200 meters but I don't see there is any need for flying you know this um, long range unless otherwise you have a object of interest which you want to record um, and it is situated at um, that distance away but it can but what's going to happen is you know you will lose connection and the drone will just start to fly by itself and come back to your home positions. Now few uh, point to remember as you can see I, I, I still don't have any video but I'm seeing that the drone is coming back by looking at the distance reduction so distance is reducing so I know that the drone is coming back but I don't have any kind of video update from the drone itself because it still cannot send uh, video signals so a few things to remember as I was saying um, before you take off make sure you uh, fix your home point uh, so the drone don't take off from your place until the drone says that the home point has been selected right so make sure you have the home point selected so when you have the full home point lock then you can fly 
So if you even lose contact like this, the way we actually lost contact with the drone, the drone will essentially come back to your home point. And also make sure you have the height data. I actually put as 89 or 80 meters uh, return to home height. So when the drone is flying, um, it would actually uh, come back. Um, for, me, for this flight, I actually adjusted to 120 meters maximum height when the drone is coming because I know that there is an antenna over there. I didn't want to go near it. The drone didn't go near it, but I just wanted to have enough clearance for me to um, come back. So even with 80 meters or 70 meters, it would have been enough for the drone to just fly back. So you make sure you adjust your return to home height to um, a level which is higher than anything which the drone has to fly by. So I start to face also um, a strong wind. I think it's coming from the crosswind because when I was going, I was going against the wind. So what I'm going to do over here, when you start to face strong wind, lower the altitude or the height of the drone. So what happens is higher you go, you have um, strong wind. So lower your altitude and you will see that the wind speed will reduce and that means the drone will fly faster back home. And you also can see that I'm losing uh, battery uh, power very quickly. So I, I want to come back home um, very quickly. But at 500 meters away from the home point, the drone starts to get back its signal level. Another curious thing is um, the home point has been selected but the drone went away and if you leave everything to automatic meaning the drone will land itself um, at the home point you will see that the drone will miscalculate the home point and in my case this is exactly what happened so the drone is trying to land itself but if you see it took off uh, from my hand uh, but I was not on this hedge uh, which is actually trying to land so um, be ready and prepared to take control over the drone. Don't la let it land, otherwise it's going to land on the hedge and it's just going to crash onto things. So uh, I took control of the drone and I will pull it back uh, away from the hedge and I'll land it in my hand again because I took it from... Uh, and this drone is amazing. It's really easy to take off from your hand and land it back onto your hand. Easy to keep, um, uh, keep track of it. And now I have very little amount of battery and drone is just basically shouting at me that land now <laughs> otherwise I will just drop so there you go guys this was the range test hope you liked it if you do like this video give me a like put on your comments on the comment section and let me know what you want to see next thanks very much take care